Hello friend, this is Paper Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is the first time you are visiting, you are very welcome. I hope you will uh, stay and watch the video here and uh, wait until the end because there is a fun collage that I do. So yes, this is a continuation of the napkin collage art. Um, I'm also doing a little magazine harvesting for those who know what that means. Basically, uh, for those who don't know what that means, it's just cutting up magazines, um, looking for images and things that uh, catch my eye. And um, so, yeah, I always like clocks and flowers, usually vases interesting shapes um, in this case I have um, I'm fussy cutting out this particular image and it is um, as you can tell it's a layered image and uh, in its original form and so I went ahead and cut around that and so um, sometimes I will cut you know just different pieces of images <clears throat> like with this girl I really like her um, with that little fluffy stuff and but I may not use her face for example uh, because if you've seen my videos in the past um, where I do the um, harvesting of the magazines you'll see that I don't like particularly images of people who are looking straight at me. I like people looking away, looking somewhere else, um, because when they're looking straight at you, it kind of um, take, takes away uh, a little bit from the picture in general. It, it um, just kind of skews your attention to their eyes mainly, and um, and then you don't really see a whole lot else. And so every now and then I will use images that look straight at you, but it is rare. So here I am cutting out this so adorable ice cream cone. And I already had a little ice cream pop too that I just cut out. Here's another couple images that are kind of repeated on this uh, content uh, part of the magazine. And so you can tell there's it's the same image just in a smaller size which you know makes a big difference because sometimes I need uh, small images sometimes I need big images it just really depends on what I'm doing and so um, here we have this page which has got this really neat border um, then these girls here I'm gonna cut them out and the one on the top of the guitar I'm not loving um, but I do love this girl with this color pink hair and this one looking away uh, with just brown hair, just gorgeous. Then you got this girl with the little frilly skirt. I like her a whole lot and I don't love the girls in the back. They're kind of like, um, I don't know, they look kind of angry. <laughs> and, you know, I don't always dislike that, um, but sometimes... I have to be in the mood for it. And then this girl with the pink hair. Obviously, I'm in love with the pink hair. I wish I was, I guess, brave enough to wear pink hair. But I do have a day job. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can't really do the pink hair. Um, and, and I'm not, you know, 20 anymore. So, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I think some, some women my age might pull it off well. So, but, yeah, you got to kind of uh, know how to do that. So, Anyway, this eyeball is so cute. As you saw, I punched it out. It's really like more of a lash kind of advertisement. I love those. Uh, anything that has to do with a lash, you know, lashes. Um, I particularly like to cut mouths and lips and tongue and stuff like that because, I don't know, I just think it's fun. And so now this one here, uh, this girl with the black and white, she's really quirky. And um, I think I, I do a, f uh, a frozen shot. There it is. And it is uh, maybe not long enough, but it's really fun. Uh, the way that image is put together, really quirky. So then I'm cutting this other, uh, little thing out with the article because sometimes I, I am actually interested in the articles. And so, so 
Sometimes I'll actually cut something out with the article and then read it. And sometimes that will provide inspiration. So now uh, this one, I was initially wanting it to be used for uh, like a signature page. And I was just going to cover up the inside with it where that guy is sitting down there. But um, I end up using it in a different way. And then this uh, little image here, I'm going to go ahead and fussy rip instead of fussy cut because I don't know I just felt like the style that it is um, it's kind of a rusticy kind of thing kind of a caveman caveman maybe Greek revival type thing so I uh, I'm just kind of ripping up the edges because I feel like that would be good you know one of the things I think about when I'm ripping up edges versus fussy cutting them in clean lines is the style that, that the image is. Like if I'm going for, you know, like an antique rusty look, rustic look, then I'm going to probably fussy rip, you know, or there's a good chance that I will. And if something is like a ice cream cone or some clean cut, I'm probably going to fussy cut that really uh, nice and clean because, you know, that that's not really a vintage -y type of deal so but now here again uh, this little phrase I can't remember what it says offhand but um, I do end up actually using it at the in the collage at the end of the um, video here so but look at those butterflies uh, there's these like two large yellow ones and then the one in the front I was like oh my gosh I'm debating you know whether to use the front or the back and so I, I do end up using the the butterflies the two pink, uh, yellow ones and so now this little deal here is a perfect size of a little card you know one of those little trivia cards and or, or like a maybe even a playing card and so I thought oh that's perfect for something like that so yeah, when I'm thinking about making different tags or uh, little cards or something like that, um, these images can be really fun to use as well. Um, so yeah, I do use, uh, you know, for different things. Like I said, I do the junk journals, I do collage, and I do glue books and just different things. And so I use um, the different images for all those different projects. And um, there's another ice cream. And um, I really like that picture, that background. It's uh, gray, and then it's got that bed on it. But I wasn't sure how to use it. I did go ahead and cut it up. And I was really trying to use it in the collage that I, um, that I make here towards the end of the video. But it just didn't work out because... I guess I ended up finding other images that worked better with that project. Uh, so I don't know how I'm going to end up using that yet. But it is a very fun image. It's really um, calling my attention. So now I'm using this punch, which is uh, the smaller, I think it's a one inch or maybe less. But it's, it's a really nice, it's got those little edges that are... Um, it's not like a perfect, uh, like clean, smooth edges. They have like little ridges around it. And uh, yeah, I just, I love to have that handy. Um, I like that it kind of cuts through thin paper because the bigger punch does not cut through thin paper. It, you, Or at least it doesn't cut it well. You have to cut it with uh, some something backed up into something a little harder. That happens with some punches. <clears throat> and it's not because it's not um, sharpened because I do try to put them through seam, some aluminum foil and some wax and um, parchment paper. So I don't think that's it. But anyway, this is that napkin collaged uh, little booklet that I uh, have been working on in my previous videos. Uh, the flowers and the little butterfly there are, are from a napkin and then the image of the girl is from a magazine so now I'm just kind of using that to get a feel for what I may be using on the inside I was thinking that I may be using 
these as centers of a signature for junk journals because of it um, being um, that that the image that the image in the middle is it goes across it's it's a it's the left and the right page um, you know having an entire composition there and so that would be I think a nice center page so this is one of the images I end up using. I was debating about the doors because I really like that brown door. Sometimes I still feel like maybe I should have used it, but then I don't know. It was just on on in looking at it live, that other door, that gray door just really did it for me. And even though on the video it kind of almost looks like it looks better with the brown door, but Anyway, so here's this little birdie on this little branch, and so I'm going to cut him out, and he is just darling. Uh, I got him from a uh, Flowers and Birds magazine, and, you know, I've noticed there's other birds sometimes from time to time that I see, but these chunky little chubby ones, I absolutely love the little chubby chunky birds. So now here, uh, this would make sense to put it something like that, but then the bird will be looking out of the page. So I end up putting it on the right side so that um, it's still directing the eye to the, the picture, you know, not, not outside. So yeah, here I'm auditioning these f doors and... Um, like I said, I definitely end up using the the gray tone door and um, and maybe it is because it goes better with the little bird perhaps. I guess it just was a cooler tone and um, so yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with all these different pieces. I had picked out some pieces that I thought would you know felt right to go with this style on this little pamphlet that I'm putting together here and uh, so then I'm gonna fussy rip this a little bit more and I do end up using that and uh, yeah and so then now I'm trying to use that other image but like I said it doesn't work out and I, on camera this brown door looks really really good to be honest with you so I like I said it was tough tough decision there but in the end uh, even though on camera, I think the brown one looks better in real life. The gray one did, in my opinion. So, but yeah, as you get to the end of the video, you'll see what it looks like. Uh, I I do put it uh, on a still um, bit there so that you can see it a little bit better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere uh, these items and. I'm gonna go ahead and really be generous with the glue here because especially uh, even on the actual background I'm putting a little bit of the glue because I did put paint acrylic paint and I did uh, put that texture and you know with mixed media you're gonna cover things up uh, that you didn't know you were gonna cover up that's just what's gonna happen there's no way to avoid it um, because the process, you know, part of it is is the texture and the layering. And, you know, some of the layering that you do with mixed media makes sense and sometimes it doesn't. But in the end, the end result is usually uh, something that is a surprise. Like, you know, you just never know until you do it. And so... I really, really love this little bird with uh, that little verbiage behind it. And now I'm just uh, using this little push pin. Uh, I'm also kind of wiping a little bit of the glue with some baby wipe, but you gotta be careful because some images do bleed. Not, all, not a lot, but sometimes. And also they may fade at other times. So you wanna do that very carefully. And uh, so yeah, I'm just wiping the this glue down and then uh, drying it out with that little 
it, it could be any piece of fabric that's cotton it just that's what I had handy and uh, then that little flower I think gives it a lot of personality really cute pink um, flower there and so this is what it looks like so far uh, I'm gonna come back and cut the little edges once I feel that it's dried some more uh, like I said I did cover up some of that texture paste and so it does kind of change the dynamic of the the picture a little bit um, because really uh, I feel like well I want to maybe add some more and so I do and uh, but here here I am cutting the excess and um, that little excess bit of tree branch ends up going uh, here and I thought that looked great it just kind of completed the picture uh, because I kind of felt like something was missing on, on that left side but by adding that piece that I took away from the right it just really pulled it together so I thought so yeah, now I'm looking at this and thinking, you know, I, I still want a little bit more of that texture paste, especially in those spaces there that are kind of blank, kind of a little bit of plain. Because I was thinking about putting more images, but, um, you know, I think I feel like it would take away from the composition. So I thought, you know, what I really want is a more subtle kind of element um, and that texture pace is really what what I felt um, I wanted to add a little bit more of because you know it was already on on some of the other now I'm trying to get the edges to be kind of faded out a little bit because otherwise it looks a little too I don't know it doesn't look too random and I, I kind of like for it to look a little bit more rustic-y so as we approach the end of this episode I want to invite you to stay along and stay tuned uh, be sure and you comment below. Let me know if there are any questions or if there's uh, something you would like to let me know. I really appreciate the feedback. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And um, be sure and subscribe if you would like to continue to view these videos. Also, uh, be sure and hit the all option when you hit the notification bell so that you will know when I have a new video for you. Hope you love this little picture. I appreciate your time. Love you so much. Love you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.